Hello everybody, it is The Last Raider. We are back with another video talking about how apparently a bunch of retards are ruining a fandom. Go figure. I'm willing to bet these are SJWs who cannot handle the situation. I don't know the particulars on this because I've seen this on Twitter and I, I'm just going to give my two cents on it and if anything else develops, I'm, I will probably talk about it later. But... Apparently the guy that is playing the new Captain America, not the original Captain America, he's playing the new Captain America who's going to be the symbol uh, in, uh, Falcon in the, Win the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Apparently he is now receiving death threats for doing his job, which is what an actor does. Their job is to go in there and act. From what I understand from the uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier, from what people have told me, uh, he is not actually a good guy. He is actually a bad guy to some extent or some nonsense. Um, I don't know the particulars. Apparently, he kind of got... I, I, from what I understand, he's apparently going nuts. Someone correct me in the comments if I am wrong on this. But I do know that he is not supposed to be the original Cap. He's not a... He's not the MCU's replacement cap. He is the U.S. government's replacement of cap in the MCU lore. Which is just him, you know, doing his job. But apparently some morons on the internet have apparently decided that this is enough to send death threats to the guy who is being paid to play a part. Whether he agrees with how the part is being played or not. Okay? Uh, someone, you want to get mad at somebody, you should get mad at someone in, uh, Marvel for writing this bullshit, okay? Uh, it's not something to get mad at the actor. The actor, the guy that's doing this, he's just being paid, and one of the things that you learn by talking to people who are in movies, especially when you're doing the new CGI, heavy, heavy CGI movies that are now, most of these people don't know what's going on. It's, a lot of people have this idea that, Movies are made linearly. And the only time I will ever tell you that that has actually happened was Mad Max. Mad Max was a movie that was filmed linearly. In other words, from start to finish. And from what I understand, it is it was an oddity to do that. They simply, because you've got to understand, if you have four scenes in a movie that require you to be on the set of the Avengers base, or in, uh, I don't know, Stark Tower, for instance. You don't want to rent the Stark Tower set for four, de for four days within the filming time as you get to it. You want to get those entire scenes out of the way. That's why a lot of stuff gets cut out of movies, because they, they will just run entire scenes. Uh, there are plenty of times, if you go back into credits, extended edition movies, you learn that a lot of times actors, they're, they're just doing a single scene. It's usually like, they're, they're usually doing multiple scenes over and over again. They'll do about an hour's worth of shooting to get a really good five, six second shot at times or a, a five minute scene. They don't know what's going on because they're bouncing around the movie so much doing different things that they're not even completely sure what the movie is going to look like when they get done. That's why the actors go to the movies because... When they go to the premiere, that's the first time they're seeing the completed movie, like everyone else. Just because you're an actor on set doesn't mean you know everything that's going on. The actor, I've said this before, actors are like a, a over-glorified prop, pretty much. They are to go in there and lie to the audience and make them believe that, oh, you know, this is how things are going. That th this, is, this is happening and that's happening and this character is like this and making this decision or this poor decision based on that. Uh, the, the idea is to fool the audience and immerse them into the story. And that's what an actor does. They lie to the audience and immerse them. The problem is apparently there's some people out there that don't have enough common sense to understand that there's a difference between fantasy and reality. It, it is hilarious. I don't know who these people are. But, I mean, here's the thing. Wyatt Russell could be a good guy, he could be a bad guy, but right now everybody wants to make him evil. I don't know why, okay? It's it's kind of like um, the people that would normally play your villains. You'll find out that the guys that play villains usually will tell you, we like to play villains because there's a bigger 
uh, distance in him. A lot of a lot of people like playing. A lot of actors and actresses like playing the villain because the villain does a lot more stuff. The villain is a little bit more exciting and has a little bit more of a backstory. Whereas the hero is usually a good guy. Ninety uh, percent of the time, the hero is a good guy. Just you know, either trying to get by or or he's been thrust into a situation that he has nothing to do with. But anyway, folks, <clears throat> uh, I guess what I'd have to say is just send Wyatt Russell some love. Okay, <laughs> just send him up there and say, hey, uh, we heard you was having problems, man. Just want to tell you, uh, we, we like what you're doing. You're, you're helping You're helping push on the fandom, even though I, I think Marvel's about to completely collapse because of the writing. Um, but anyway, folks, tell me what you think about in the comments. Is this, uh, how, how do you feel about people whose job it is to portray a character being threatened because that is their job? That's what they're doing to put food on the table. Um, should this, should this end, should this be, should the people who are doing this be put in jail? I should say that. Anyway, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notification. And as always, folks, I'm the last Raider. Stay safe, stay frosty. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.